Hi everybody and welcome back to Mountain Aquatics. So I finally got the fish for my Fluval Evo C 52 litre or 13.5 gallons um, that we ordered three months ago. I've left this set up. I really want to give these fish the best chance. I'm not able to put any anemone in there yet. I've been told they need a bit longer before we need a more settled tank. Um, but yeah, we've ordered them. I've got them from Aquatics to your door. Um, let's unbox them and have a look at them and then get them in the tank and show you how the tank's looking now after three months being set up. So this is the tank as it looks now. There's not been much change. I've had some little bits of algae that I've had to deal with, but I've just used a magnetic scraper here to clear the glass. There is in there one hermit crab, which I'll try and get some footage for you at some point, but he does like to hide. And I've put a couple of shells in there just in case he outgrows his current one. Those ones are a little bit bigger. So yeah, you can see the algae just growing i need to just sort of stir up that sand and substrate at the bottom we've had a little bit on the glass but all in all it's not been too bad but as i've had no fish in here i've not been running the light very much so the light i've actually bought this sort of inline controller so that i can set it to come on and off at certain times and turn it on instead of using the the sort of touch pad at the top which is how you turn the light on and off on this tank um, I think I paid about £12 for this off eBay. Um, it's fairly simple to use. And it means that I can add an on and off cycle and also I can dim the light. Which is not something you can do as standard with the lighting system that's built into this tank. Anyway, that's enough of the tank. And the reason you're all here really is to look at the new fish. So let's get them unboxed. I think it's always a good idea. I mean, I'm quite lucky that... I can film this because I'm running a YouTube channel but it's always a good idea to film your unboxing although it is difficult with one hand um, because then if there's any issues with the fish or they're dead on arrival it's easier for you to say to uh, the person you're buying it off listen they've arrived dead you need to speak to your courier or change your packaging or whatever um, but let's see this is my first time opening the box so heat packs are in there Mm, still very, very slightly warm. Right, let's go inside. Let's have a closer look. So, you'll notice there's two bags. In one of the bag, I have some Pygmy Corridorus, which uh, they're not for this video, they're for something else. But I may as well cut down on the shipping fees and order them at the same time. And here should be our pair of clownfish. A look uh, <laughs> they are in there but they're not showing themselves let's get them up here for a closer look oh my god they're absolutely tiny but they're beautiful can't see them very well while they're in the bag obviously so let's get them in the marine tank and uh, the goldfish are giving us a little hello <laughs> so the dwarf cory doors if you wonder what's happening then they're just in this sort of just a spare tank that I've got and growing some plants. I just I stick all sorts of bits in there. But I've ended up with a single Corridorus. Uh, the Pygmy Corridorus, sorry. Um, and I didn't want to be on his own. So I thought, well, I was doing this order. I would order another couple just to go with him and keep him company. Because they do like to show. Anyway, that's enough of him. Because uh, we're not here for them. There's a better view of them. So these are common clowns. Um, I could have gone with some fancier ones, but they're actually very expensive. Um, and as this is a new setup, I didn't want to put anything too pricey in there. Um, as I get more comfortable with it, um, with a nano marine tank, I may invest in some some snowballs, um, that sort of thing, or some platinum clownfish. But for now, we'll stick to these commons. And to be honest, they're absolutely beautiful in their own right anyway. Let's see again if we can do this one-handed. This is a little bit of a, a bit of a difficult lid to be honest to deal with on this tank because the light's obviously fixed into the lid. Um, but I think if I go sort of this way, look at all that water there. Sorry, the uh, camera's probably not picking that up very well. 
Okay, that'll do us. Let's put the bag in the water and I'm probably gonna need two hands for this. So there's always some sort of problem, um, but if you think about it, you can come up with an easy solution. So when I'm putting this bag in, because it's such a small capacity tank, it's actually overflowing. So I'm just taking a bit of water out now so it doesn't overflow. All right, the bag is in the water, just in the tank now. So I'm gonna let these temperature acclimate. I'll probably leave them around 30 minutes actually. Um, they've traveled overnight. The heat pack didn't have that much heat in it. So I think the difference without testing it with a probe, I think there's gonna be a little bit of difference there. So we will allow these to just get to the same temperature before we start adding some water. And if you look over here, you will see, if it'll focus, our little hermit crab. He's been busy keeping the tank clean and just starting off the process of getting this tank up and running for us. So this is actually my first time ordering through Aquatics to Your Door. Um, the prices are pretty good. So for the two clowns, Plus postage, I actually got them for around the same price as I would have done for a pair of clowns from a local pet store. Um, I would normally go to a local pet store, of course, but on this occasion they didn't have any in stock and they wouldn't for around another two weeks. It's already been three months now waiting for you guys to see the fish in the tank and I thought you'd waited long enough and that's why I decided to order them from them. Hopefully, good experience. So far, so good. Both fish are alive and looking quite healthy. Very small, but that's the size that was advertised. These are captive bred fish. I wouldn't ever buy wild caught fish if I can help it. Some people do prefer that because they say the colors are more vibrant than what they are in the captive bred fish. But these are very bright clownfish anyway. I have noticed that one of them looks a little bit darker than the other, um, which may be, as I'm sure some of you are aware, that clownfish can actually change their sex. So it tends to be that the more dominant fish, the larger of the two, will become the female. I'm not sure if they can change sex back. I don't think they can. Um, so that's why you're better off if you're getting a pair. Buy them very small, buy them young, and they will pair off naturally. And one of them will become the female, the more dominant one. The less dominant one, the smaller of the two, will stay smaller, and that will stay as the male. In case you are interested, the pygmy Corydoras are in. There's four in there now. Really, I want around 10 to um, get them to school properly. But these fish have only just gone in. They're very small, as you can see them against the substrate. And they won't get much bigger. They're very small fish and uh, I quite like them for it. Let's get back to the clownfish. So all I'm doing here is I've opened the top of the bag. Strangely, this bag was only single bagged, whereas the other one that's got the pygmy Corridorus in was double bagged. Normally, standard practice is to double bag them just in case one leaks. Um, luckily, we didn't have that problem here. Don't know why they've done that. Maybe it was a mistake. Might be a reason behind it. But I'm just... It's been about 30 minutes, and all I'm doing now is I'm adding some of my tank water into this, which is just good practice to do, just to acclimate them a little bit more. You can see they've really livened up this pair now. They're gonna be fantastic to watch in this tank. Any ideas for names for these two? They're gonna need names. And I quite like that you can definitely tell them apart. I think I like the darker one out of the two more, but they're both lovely looking fish. Yeah, any ideas for names put them in the comment section below and we'll get these two fish named i don't know if you can notice this but on the lighter of the two fish on the left of the screen now he, his mouth does seem a little bit sort of his bottom jaw a bit sunken in it's not as rounded his face compared to the other one and compared to how they should be right then we've just let these fish sort of swim out in their own accord Never mind, they've gone back in the bag. I was trying to do it with one hand so I could film it for you by just lowering it and letting them swim out on their own, but they didn't want to leave yet. They're a little bit shy to explore, so we'll give them a nudge and we'll give them a little helping hand and we'll film these guys going into their brand new tank. 
come on. There's one. And there's the other one. Let's get that bag out of the way. So, they've got plenty to explore. We've got the lid back on now. What we'll do is I'll wait till tomorrow before I feed them. Although I'm dying to do it already and see them eating. But they'll be a bit stressed out at the minute. They're just exploring their new tank. Now obviously our plan with this tank is to have a nano reef tank. And we will sort of, now we've got the fish in there, we'll look at possibly getting some coral. I definitely want an anemone for these two to host on. And you never know, they could breed. I may. I'm already thinking about starting some more marine tanks. At the minute I'm all fresh water, mainly cold water goldfish and things. Um, but... Yeah, I've really enjoyed the journey so far. There's our hermit crab having a little explore. They need to introduce themselves to him. So if you want to see any more of this content, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Please leave a like. It definitely makes a difference. If you've enjoyed the video, remember, if you want to name these fish, they both need a name. Now they've got the new home. Comment below and let me know which names you'd give to each of them. The darker one and the lighter one. Try and get creative, guys. We don't want to just call them Nemo. See if you can think of something possibly original, but something cute as well. That's all from me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.